Hello everyone and welcome to the Bosky Net Adventure. My name's Jeff and I decided to get up early this morning. It is, at least when I started, not so bright and early. Sun hasn't come up yet. When I woke up this morning, I decided, you know what, I want to do a uh, battery longevity or a distance test on my new Rattan Sequoia e-bike. So that's what I'm out doing this morning. Oh, I'm about two miles into the ride so far, but I plan on doing about 40 miles. My plan is to check in multiple times during the trip. But let's go ahead right now, put some distance on, and I think I'll check back in with you all at the 10 mile mark. So, enjoy a quick montage of the next 10 miles and some tunes. We'll see y'all in a bit. So we are now over 10 miles into the ride. Looking down, it's about 11 and a half miles. So far, so good. I am enjoying the ride. I'm just waiting for these brakes to finally start quieting down. There's a lot more people on the trail this morning. Had a later start than what I was hoping. Everybody out having a good time. That's always good. I figured on this leg of the journey, I would talk to you a little bit more about the bike. You know, by now, you all have already seen the uh, kind of the specs and features video that I did. Um, that was a high level overview. So I hope it was informative enough. However, I'm learning that there's certainly more to the, you know, LCD display here than what I previously knew about it. So it lets you customize many more aspects to this bike than what I had previously saw and read up on. All right, so the LCD panel lets you go in and set things like, you know, your brightness, your tire size, stuff like that. Stuff kind of about the LCD panel. Whether you're in miles or kilometers. Again, stuff like that, configuration stuff. But it lets you kind of fine tune the bike too. So out of the box, the bike is set up as a class three, which speed limits exceed that of the uh, at least the paved trails that I go on so it allows me to go in and adjust the maximum speed of the bike just so that you know I don't accidentally go over the posted speed limit of the trail 
and it actually lets you do this by mile per hour. I've seen it on other e-bikes where it's more of a, hey, you set the bike as a class three or you set it as a class two, right? Or you're adjusting, you know, power parameters on how much current or voltage, I guess not necessarily voltage, but certainly the maximum current at which the bike will consume at any given time. So I find that feature really useful, at least for me on these trails. Again, like I say, I want to follow the rules and at least on the assisted side, not go over the speed. The bike also lets you, you know, play around with the maximum current and everything. So it does have that. I guess so that you can, you know, limit the draw on your battery, right? Make you do more work. So I'm all for that too. This is meant to be a uh, exercise too. The LCD panel also features a passcode lockout. So you're able to set a passcode. Uh, and I guess if somebody decides to take your bike, you can at least lock them out of using the, you know, e-bike features. It'd probably be real easy to uh, just swap out the uh, controller at that point if you were gonna steal a bike like this, but I don't know, maybe as a deterrence, it uh, gives you a little bit of peace of mind. Peace of mind's always a good thing, right? Now in the specs video, I mentioned that this e-bike had five pedal assist levels. That was both true and false at the same time. Out of the box, it has five pedal assist levels. However, you can go into the advanced settings on this bike and you are able to adjust that. It actually has settings in there so that you can have just three pedal assist levels. It has the five assist level setting, a seven assist level, or all the way up to a nine assist level. Now that does not mean that the maximum speed of the bike has changed. All right, so what that allows me to do, is it allows me to fine tune the pedal assist to the gears of the bike. That way, you know, the bike is more tuned to how I am able to ride. Now, a guy like me, really appreciates being able to adjust the quantity of pedal assist levels that I have. It allows me to more fine tune the pedal assist to the different gears of the bike according to my skill level of the bike, right? You know, I want to be able to keep my heart rate at a specific level while I ride and not be having an over amount of assist. I want just enough to help compensate for the weight of the bike, right? Because as I've shared before, at nearly 80 pounds, I do need a little bit of an assist. One of the things that I do need to get for this bike is a rear view mirror for my handlebar. It really does help as the day goes on on the bike here, the further I get up, the more traffic there is. So I definitely appreciate being able to see people behind me. So rear view mirror, definitely on the list of things to get. 
we are now on the very pretty, pretty, pretty part of this ride up into the canyon. This is the beautiful part of the ride. Heading up through the canyon like this, absolutely awesome. We're almost to our destination here. I'll chat with you all again here in a bit. everyone this is the destination that I was trying to get to so it's about 22 miles into the journey behind me we have what's called Bridal Veil Falls it's absolutely gorgeous and awesome so I do hope that you've been enjoying the uh, the ride so far It's I know a different kind of adventure but I definitely have enjoyed putting the miles on the bike it's actually been going by quite smoothly um, it's just beautiful here. Let me show you more of it. So opposite the waterfall here, we have our beautiful mountain views. And to give you just a little bit of perspective here about where I'm at, back over behind this guy. So Mandy and I, uh, what was it, last fall, right after my accident, back up this way just a little bit. Uh, we went uh, camping and had blueberry pancakes, and it was awesome. And there's this big aspen grove that's just back behind here. Now, you don't enter it through this canyon. You actually enter it through, you know, the canyon just north of here. And you know, you do all kinds of off-roading back into that area, but it's an absolutely gorgeous area to go camping. And we hope to get back there again this fall once it cools down. It's just an excellent place to come riding to. Always worth the journey. All right, well, I've certainly enjoyed the view here for a bit. Let's get headed right back down to where we began. Uh, not sure how much of that I'll show. I don't know. But uh, we'll continue our conversation we were having and uh, enjoy the journey. To be more precise with the battery level that's left, it says 76%. So, if I am 22 miles into the journey and I've only used a quarter of the battery, Maybe this thing will get me 80 miles. Oh my goodness, that would be, that would be amazing. It's been a great ride. Absolutely loving it. Heading back home now. I always like coming out and doing this long ride. I think this is about the seventh or eighth time this summer where I've come all the way out here. And I absolutely love it. 
it is just a gorgeous ride. Alright everyone, I figured a long ride like that deserves a little bit of a retrospective on how the ride went and everything. The, the bike's doing pretty good. Let's, let's first talk about the ride itself, right? The ride quality and everything else like that. I, you know, the, the front suspension fork and everything else, it's definitely doing its job right. It kept the, at least for me, kept the ride uh, comfortable and enjoyable that way. Um, <laughs> I tell you what, the the large tires, I I know I've mentioned this quite a few times already, it driving like a tank and everything else. It's a tank that'll ride in a straight line for you because of the just the mass of the tires and everything else, you could definitely feel the stability in the bike. So that's a plus for the bike. You know, I'm getting used to the used to the shifting and everything else, so that wasn't a problem for me this time around. The brakes, I don't know. I'm 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 wondering when those are going to actually start quieting down. Total time on the bike today was uh, two hours forty one minutes. Uh, granted, there was a lot of stopping in there, so you know, I think total ride time was closer to about two hours in. 20 minutes. I did 41.52 miles. Average speed was 15.4 miles per hour. Uh, let's see here, any other cool things. Uh, elevation gain, 841 feet. So my max elevation was 5,094 feet and my minimum was 4,689. Uh, so overall, for me, that was a great ride. Uh, the bike handled it well. The bike did develop an issue on this ride, and I'm going to show you guys that right now. It's not so much an issue with the bike, but rather the pedal. So as you can see, there, there is not much spin to that. I believe I have, I have burned out the bearing inside, inside the pedal there. Oh well, um, the only annoyance with it is that under load, under pressure, it starts to click. And it's, and it's about right when the pedal gets to about here, there's a click. So, you know, I feel that in my foot every time that uh, I pedal the bike now. So I'll give them a call, uh, let them know that that's what's going on with the pedal and uh, get a replacement. But uh, that'll give me an opportunity to uh, check out their customer service and uh, to let you guys know how that experience went or, or how that experience goes rather. Because I'll show you over here on the other pedal, we spin pretty decently. Is it the best? No, I, th I think there's some drag on that one too but it definitely spins better than the other one. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna give uh, the old customer service line a call and uh, see if we can get ourselves uh, some new pedals out here quick. So overall, I think, I think it was a pretty good ride. Um, other than the annoyance in the pedal there, um, it was a great ride. Other than checking out the uh, overall ride quality, Let's talk about the battery, since that was kind of the main focus of this long ride. Um, so I put just about 42 miles on the bike. Uh, there's 45% battery life left. 
So that's pretty darn good. Uh, if, if my math is correct, uh, I should be able to get on a full battery charge somewhere around 65 miles. So that's not too bad. Uh, that's, <laughs> I actually like that quite a bit. Um, I should be able to do quite a few uh, good distance adventures with the bike. So I've got the confidence in that now. Here very soon, uh, now that I've got this kind of long ride duration test, uh, you know, completed, the confidence level of being able to take this out on, on an actual camping adventure has just risen quite a bit. So I'm looking forward to that. Uh, but I'm going to wrap things up now. Thank you very much for joining me. I really enjoyed the ride this morning. I hope you did too. Thanks for joining me. If you enjoy the content that I'm producing, be sure to like and subscribe. It would really help the channel. And if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, or you just want to learn more about the Rattan Sequoia, be sure to hit me up down in the comment section below. I look forward to hearing from you. Thanks for joining me. You all have a splendid day. Bye now.